Here's how to actually get a strong core. What up, what up, YouTube? Welcome to the video, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to actually get a strong core. And I don't think people understand what a strong core actually does. So, what people think is if I do 100 sit-ups, 1,000 sit-ups, 10,000 sit-ups, 100,000 sit-ups, I will have a strong core. No, you won't, okay? Here's the reason why. Exercises that might be good for your abs might help you get a you know, nice looking six pack. If you have low enough body fat, you will see it. Things like sit-ups and cable crunches and uh, toes to bar, hanging leg raises. Um, all of these exercises are great to develop that you know, chiseled six pack you want. But having a strong core is different, okay? Now, here's what the core does. The core is you know, the complex of your abs, your obliques, the deeper abdominal muscles, um, lower back, the erector spine, working in conjunction with the hips and the shoulders. Some people include the glutes in there. I'm cool with that, okay? A lot of different opinions. But what it does is it transfers force from your upper body to your lower body. And so if it's not tight enough, if it's not strong enough, you will crumble. Say you are back squatting a ton of weight. If you don't have a strong core, regardless of how strong your legs and your upper body is, you will crumble, okay? You will crumble like a house of cards if you don't have a strong core. Now, how do you develop a strong core? Not by sit-ups. Why? Because sit-ups, you are flexing your ab muscles. And so if I'm doing a sit-up, I'm trying to show it on camera, okay? If I'm doing a sit-up, my abdominals are flexed, okay? They're not resisting um, force. They're generating force because they are flexing. And so if you're doing like a weighted sit up, you are generating force in order to um, provide some sort of adaptation for them. The difference is if you want a strong core, you're not generating force, you're resisting force. So instead of flexing your abs, you are holding it still. You are preventing it from extending you are preventing it from flexing to the side, and you are preventing it from rotating. This is called anti-extension, anti-lateral flexion, and anti-rotation, okay? Now, right here is a list of exercises. I will sh these are exercises for anti-extension. These are exercises for anti-lateral flexion, and these are exercises for anti-rotation. You need to resist force in order to develop a strong core. That's the biggest misconception. Most people think you need to do sit-ups. Sit-ups, you are generating force, not resisting force. Um, both resisting force and generating force will help you get a nice six-pack. Personally, I think um, doing sit-ups, flexing at the abs is a lot better for that, but for a strong core, you have to resist um, force. And so that's all for this video. Just wanted to clear the air. If you want a strong core, Remember, you're doing exercises that necessarily aren't the best to develop a six pack. They're still good, they're just not the best. They're better at you know keeping you strong and functional, which is important too, remember. Strong and functional, just as important as having a six pack. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time, peace.